Hello my lovely juniors this is Ashok and welcome to my youtube channel in the today's video that is chapter 8 we are learning logic gates so it's very very interesting because without logic gates uh, you cannot make any logic so it is the basic thing of a uh, programming okay so first we will see what all are uh, logic gates are there see these are all the logic gates which we will use in daily life in the practical life also in everywhere in your phone in your home everywhere you are using these all gates okay we will see one by one now first one AND gate so this is the logic diagram so this is the symbol of uh, AND gate how we will show it will be having two inputs uh, as of now i am showing for the only two inputs but uh, the, as per the table you can uh, vary it okay see uh, so input one input two out okay this is the in one into and out how and get will work so if for example input is zero and uh, input one is zero input two is zero output will be zero and if input one is zero and in input two is one then also zero and in one is one in one uh, into is zero then also output is zero but last one both are one when both inputs are one then only output will be one this is how the uh, and gate works okay how uh, in real life, real life where we are using i will show it now okay this is the nand gate the only difference between uh, nand gate and uh, the and gate is the there is one not gate here okay this is the only difference if you see here in the and gate what was happening if both input are one output was one right but here it is just reverse if both input are one output is zero and if any input is zero one doesn't matter so it will be one okay that's it uh, in the daily life application we will see that's and gate now see you know while logging into the computer what it will ask it will ask the username and also password right so both should be correct whether input one and input two here you can consider input one as username input two as the password if both are correct then what it will do output will activate the windows if it is not correct what it will do it will mention as the username or password is incorrect so this is how we have to learn the uh, technology simply like in school we are learning algebra but we don't know where we apply it there is no use of studying even in engineering also at least these small examples they won't give so this is how we have to learn in every single concept okay and then we'll go for the R gate so in R gate it is very very simple if you see this table okay if both input are one what is happening here we will see if both input are one output is one if any one input is one see output is one but if both inputs are zero output is zero it means that for the or gate any one of the input should be having a value otherwise output will be zero if both are zero means output is zero that's it it is very very easy to remember next we'll see the application okay just think that you have uh, like in your home we will apply or gate how we will apply see there is two chances where we get power supply to home one is from the local substation okay if power is there uh, in the local substation from there directly your low, uh, your home will be lighted correct otherwise inverter if even though if power is, power has gone if we have inverter and a battery so you can light up right it means that any one of the a power supply is there either from the inverter or substation then you are uh, you will be having the current in the home power in the home if both are not there what will happen so your light will be off your fridge will be off everything will go down so this is the this is where we apply the or gate so that circuit where they have made in the inverter and the substation current which is coming to home there you are using the or gate means daily in the daily application also you are using the logic gates okay then nor gate uh, as an and gate i told just it is the opposite of uh, or gate this uh, if you learn or gate then this is nothing okay so the, here also only one, this not gate is the difference see here there what is happening in the or gate if any one input is one then output will be one but here if both inputs are zero then output will be one this is just as it is okay then xor gate 
you see it is very very important because in most of the interviews they will ask uh, this uh, one because uh, application of this one is uh, very great and it is little bit tricky also so this is how uh, exergate uh, look like here what is the special layer is see if both inputs are zero output will be zero if both inputs are one output will be zero if if and only if any one input is high then only output is high so this is uh, why we are uh, uh, like th this is little bit tricky that's why in interview they will ask this question uh, please be careful okay so where we are using this exer gate in my home i have one bed lamp okay so near the bed i have one uh, switch to make it on off and near the door also i have one switch to make it on off what i will do so i was uh, sitting in the bed and uh, i was i made it on okay and i went near the door but i don't want to come here back so what i will do i will keep one more switch here so from here if i operate what will happen so this uh, this lamp will get off okay so how it will work because see if you see the table here what is happening if any one input is high so output will be high it means that either of the button near the lamp should be on otherwise the button near the door should be on if both are on at a time what will happen it will be uh, off the lamp will be off so that is how where we are using the exr gate in our daily life okay we'll go for the not gate not gate is very simple if you are telling i i love you it will say i hate you if you are telling i hate you it will say i love you see simple if it is a input is zero output will be, output will be one if it input is one output will be zero so where we are using in ac see in air condition in our home uh, what we will do I, I kept set point as a 25 degree celsius i want that temperature so if for example if the temperature is going about 25 degree celsius what we will do so in the not get if you put means so it will just cut the power to the air condition if it is going less than so what will happen uh, if it, it will become uh, here uh, zero then output will be one see this is how the where we use the not gate wherever you want it, it will be used in the, your uh, like in home we have heaters also heater there also if the temperature is more than the set point what it will uh, happen is like uh, the heater will get off if the temperature is uh, get less again heater will on this is where we use the not gate so in the next chapter that is chapter 9 we are going to uh, study about the types of signals so this is the logic gates i said uh, it, uh, very very simply when i start the programming classes then i will uh, tell you in detail okay so in the types of signals we, you will study all the instruments like what are they we are using in the industry and how important those are those things and all you will learn it uh, very very well so we will see in the next video till then see you bye bye